beautiful seekers this is clarity 1129 welcome and welcome back to my channel i am here with your april 2024 love predictions which is going to be zodiac sign wise and um, all the cards your tarot as well as your oracle have been pre-shuffled you may go to your timestamps and i hope the reading gives you you know some insight on the month that's going to be energies may be a little difficult during this time because of the eclipses and the retrograde that's here but that's okay we can navigate uh, through anything you know if we have a heads up on what the situation is like just be kind to yourself and those around you and just accept what's happening so that way you will be able to type past these energies without a problem all right uh, for you, the complete picture, do uh, watch your sun, moon rising, and since it's a love prediction, also your Venus, um, and that will give you more insight. But if you're not aware of it and you just want to watch your sun, that's entirely up to you. All right. So I'll see you at your pile. Oh, my powerful Aries, the action-oriented, and uh, wish you a very happy birthday. Uh, this is your month and wishing you all the happiness and abundance that is, uh, should rightfully be yours and not just in your birthday season but always all right so let us begin with your love prediction for april 2024 now first of all uh if you have skipped the intro you know that uh let me let you know that you know there is uh, we've just finished a penumbral lunar eclipse on the 25th of March and uh, there is going to be a solar eclipse on the 8th of April and so and the and Mercury is also in retrograde since the 22nd of March all right and will be uh, for this entire duration of your uh, April so what does this tell you this tells you that there will be themes of people from the past coming in into your life during this time. Uh, you know, usually when they come back, there are a few things you need to keep in mind. And especially with boundaries right in the center of your reading. If in the past, you know, the connection was such that boundaries were uh, maintained and either you walked over their boundaries or they walked over your boundaries which is why the separation happened and you've had a lot of time uh, po possibly to reflect and now with this retrograde season this person may be coming back for some of you for some of you someone from your past all right this could um, i mean we are looking for a love reading we're looking for love but it could also be a friendship all right somebody could come back to you so you have the option of either getting closure and you'll uh, you know if this person comes back and you realize once again that oh this is uh, exactly why we split in the first place because they've not done the work or we are not compatible so then you finally have closure and you can uh, sort things amicably and move your own ways or you're getting a second chance maybe you will uh, either part as friends or you will actually decide to give it another go if you realize that both of you have actually done the work and your boundaries are maintained all right so this is a theme that can come up now what do i see for you very prominently in this reading there are these four cards here all talk about and even this to an extent all talk about expressing yourself which is again you know a catch-22 because you are being told to express yourself during this time and at the same time mercury which is the planet of communication is what uh, is in retrograde which means there are chances for misunderstanding so when this comes here for you so much especially since aries are known to you know fly off the handle um and being the youngest of the zodiac and being the first you know cardinal sign you want to act and you have a tendency to say it like it is which may actually rub a lot of people the wrong way uh, because you're impatient and what you get out here is the knight of swords the knight of swords uh, is air energy this is aquarius gemini libra energy and the knight of swords is not the king of swords they want to speak their truth they can actually be um, pretty um, 
rash in the way they uh, communicate they can actually rub people the wrong way and they say their truth as though that is the whole truth but it isn't they're not the king they don't see everything but they have to blurt their truth out because they're so convinced that they are right and this is the energy which uh, you might be in so you're being told to just think about that uh, you know before you speak it's good for you to just stop a, a bit before you communicate because especially because the season is such where there are eclipses and retrogrades chances are that you'll get into arguments very often so that will not be a very conducive situation for any kind of relationship let alone a love relationship all right but if there has been someone in your life you're being asked to express your love or if there was someone uh, whom you've got your eyes on and you have been feeling that maybe they're also interested in you but they've never said it maybe they will express their love to you so it says go ahead and make that uh, the romantic gesture all right now if this is a new person all right if you are single and you're looking for a new uh, person and uh, this new person comes into your life who piques your interest then don't rush into a relationship because it is the time of retrograde and eclipses but you can take it slow meaning show your interest may go out on dates but don't make it official or uh, anything in a hurry let this one month period pass before you move to the next step all right because uh, chances are that you know if you take it slow you will not regret this decision neither you nor the person whom you're going to meet now the person whom you're going to meet could uh, be uh, an Aquarian, Gem a Gemini or Libra. Doesn't have to be, but they may have uh, strong placements in their charts. The uh, thing about this month with the Seven of Cups here is actually you're going to be spoiled for choices, uh, my dear Aries. So that's a great thing in your birthday month. You have a lot of options out there. You can get to pick and choose whom you want to go out with. People are interested in you because obviously this is your birthday month. So it is first house energy. It's all about your glow up. So people notice you. This is your month. You're shining during this time. So you have a lot of options to choose from. Now, um, but it's uh, possible that the person who actually catches your eyes would be an air sign. Doesn't have to be, but you are told whoever this is, you know, uh, just take it slow, all right, and express yourself clearly. Don't, uh, I mean, take things, just tone down the way you speak and communicate very clearly, all right. This dancer card here, again, look at this, it's so beautiful. The number eight could be significant. And the number two could be significant as well. And what does this say? You must feel free to express yourself if you want to live a truly authentic life of quality and meaning. Our soul's dance is unending. So see, this is another thing about communicating freely. So be authentic and make, you know, and if you speak from a place of kindness and allow the other person, you know, it, maybe you express yourself in a certain way. But if you're in this night of soul's energy, even the other person, if the person is interested in you, they may think twice before expressing themselves to you because you are in this energy and you cut them off. All right. So you be your authentic self and express whatever you have to, but also make that safe space for the other person to be able to express to you, which is again very important with these boundaries card here that you don't st overstep someone else's boundary and you make sure that your boundaries are in place so that you don't have to build walls later. All right. Again, this person coming to you could be born in the month of uh, the, I mean, sorry, the year of the tiger. Um, doesn't have to be. And this person could also, again, as I said, this double confirmation, a uh, lot of air energy in their chart. All right. With this card here, it says reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that uh, all will work out for the best. Now, this is for those of you who have either been in separation from someone uh, for a while or, you know, you're either in no contact or temporary separation or, you know, or for some of you, you're in a relationship, but you're going through a rough patch, including marriages. If you're going through a rough patch, you're being told to give each other space reflect on whatever has happened reflect on the importance of this connection to you how important is this relationship is the ego important or is the relationship the person important 
what is it that you'd like to improve reflect upon it and then have a heart to heart without coming into the night energy of just saying your bit and then just saying that that is it it's this way or it's not going to happen so you you being asked to just trust and have faith you know if this person is really important to you this connection is really important to you if it's been a long term thing or if something that you've had a vision together you're being asked to hold your vision just because you've been through the first um, you know rough patch doesn't mean it's the end of the world you'll work things out and chances are as this month ends as you move into um, taurus season you will find that energy start you know because the retrograde mercury will turn direct and the you know the full effect of the eclipses will also start wearing off a bit and so then things will start easing out but this is a wonderful time instead of you know the best thing is when um, retrogrades and eclipses come up it's a very good time for us to uh, rethink on how we are ca- uh, conducting a relationship or any area of our life for that matter all right so right now you're getting this chance to have a rethink in your connection where is it that you could have more boundaries where is what is important to each of you have that heart to heart so that you can actually move forward all right so that is as far as couple aries are concerned all right as i told you for the singles you will have an air sign who's going to be interested or you will be interested um have faith in your dreams and hold your vision this could be if you have a dream about somebody or if there is someone on your mind and you really really uh, you know if things are going uh, in a, a a bit difficult right now you're being told to hold your vision have your uh, faith in your dreams if you really want this and if it is in your best interest it will definitely come to you but you need to put in the work all right so work on yourself and don't get fixated on anyone or anything that you create energetic blocks you know you just say what you want to the universe and leave it at that and then work on yourself and work on all the red flags you know just like you don't want red flags in the other person you've got to erase your own red flags right you need to tone down um, things which may put other people off as well so this is something you need to work on with false indigo here you get immersion and intuition when you reach the end of what you should know you will be at the beginning of what you should sense which is again tells you that you know if you've been thinking from your head when it comes to a love relationship you need to actually think from your heart so if your head has been leading the way so far allow your intuition your inner guidance your heart to lead you all right wonderful things waiting to happen but the uh, what do you call emphasis in this month is to think before you speak and express yourself clearly and from a place of kindness and maintain your boundaries all right that is all i have for you my dear aries have a wonderful april uh, 2024 filled with love and happiness and abundance and wish you many more take care bye bye welcome to your april 2024 love predictions i have laughter in my voice but before i say why let me first wish all the april born torians a very happy birthday and wish you many more wish you abundance wish you love and there is lots of it right here i just love your reading i mean this could be you know a movie that we're watching a romantic movie this is lovely lovely energy for you all right my dear torians let's dive into this look at the two cards that you've got tarot cards you get the 6 of cups and the 2 of cups and then you have commitment and then you have soulmate and then you have an emphatic yes here and here you have a secret admirer someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on all right a fiery climax approaches ah i just love this energy for you all right so let's begin first of all you know that it's retrograde season you also know that uh, it's eclipse season so there are going to be themes from the past that are coming in all right so there are people from your past who uh, you know you may rekindle things with if you thought things were all over then uh, you know you just might get a second chance for a lot of you the second chance would be uh, you know commitment actual commitment you will 
uh, realize you know you both of you in this period of separation may have done work on yourself and then you're going to come back and commit to one another there will be a fiery climax and you might actually end up in a commitment a marriage or take it to the next level this person would be your soulmate and that's why they're coming back with the six of cups here reconciliation soulmate energy two of cups you realize you're perfect for one another so this is as far as people who have someone who's coming back uh, into their life all right for those of you who are single there could be someone who's admiring you who's been uh, you know trying to muster up courage to come to you they see you as you know family as home they just feel that they get you you're a, just a, you know an equal in every way and they just can't think beyond you and they actually have so much feeling maybe you meet this person every day maybe this person's there at your work maybe this person you just uh, you know is your neighbor or is someone you see very often or could be a friend whom you've been uh, you know you've been really good friends for a long time and this person actually has more feelings than that but they've not been able to muster up the courage to tell you and maybe in the month of april they actually do and you uh, move this on to the next level all right this person could be a water sign cancer scorpio pisces does not have to be but i feel there is strong water in their chart all right and maybe uh, something have happened during libra season or in libra season maybe you'll finally uh, you know end up tying the knot or something like that for those of you who resonate with it um but you are definitely going to meet and there's going to be a lot of um you know it's such wonderful energy maybe for some of you you propose and they say yes or they propose and you say yes for those of you who are single or those of you who are have been in a relationship for a while and you're wondering what uh, you know when to pop the question or when will the person pop the question to you it might happen now and you're going to say yes and you're going to be in a and you know the beautiful part about this is that uh, swans mate for life so this is soulmate energy of course it's uh, just look at that the lovely heart out there the number 4 could be significant which is again uh, the fourth house cancer cancerian energy all right so this is beautiful and just look at that we have graciousness and benevolence no act of kindness no matter how small is ever wasted yes and i think you're going to be so kind to one another so compassionate not just love but this compassion and understanding uh it's going to be beautiful i believe this relationship could be your know, happily ever after all right for a lot of you for those of you who are already in partnerships and marriages you are going to you know further what do you call solidify your bond uh, for some of you who might take vows again uh, for others you know you might just go on a holiday maybe uh, for those of you single you might uh, as i said there's a strong possibility you meet this person every day but for some of you you're going to meet this person when you go on a holiday or something you're vacationing um, possibly with your family for some of you this person is someone you've known from your childhood as well all right choices knowledge and illumination with apple blossoms white are the flowers of apple trees that bring us fruits of fertility oh wow all right so for uh, this is going to be a very fertile connection as well so for those of you who are already in partnerships maybe this is the time that you know uh, you are uh, if you are looking to have a child maybe this is the time you actually uh, get some good news or you have a child during this time so uh, take that how it resonates and this is for those of you who are, because you are going to be very fertile and even otherwise if you're not looking to um add to your family just the two of you you're going to be so uh, it's going to be a fertile relationship it's going to be a uh, what do i say a very abundant relationship full of love and you know it ticks all the boxes as i was saying when i just opened out uh, your reading that it looks as though it's from a nice tear jerker you know it, without the tears actually i mean emotional ha tears of happiness that kind of a reading it's like a romantic movie that's what i get from here with the warrior is what does this say you have the ability to conquer your fears and faults and the right to defend who you are who you love and what you believe in yes you are actually going to maybe in the past when for those of you 
whom this is a past person who's coming back maybe in the past your fears kept you you know away from this or you didn't express how you felt but now you've done the work on yourself and you know that you get to decide whom you want to be with and you're not letting anything hold you back anymore and you're going to be expressing yourself freely to this person whoever's coming in and with this freedom card you get i possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness absolutely these two cards say the same thing and because you're coming into this energy this whole world is you know opening out uh, for you this is such wonderful wonderful energy it's got venus written all over it all right and you are ruled by venus so i'm not surprised enjoy the month of april and this is not going to just be limited to april because this is a beautiful reading and you are possibly going to find someone who's going to be your happily ever after so make most of this energy and for those of you who are uh you know have their birthdays now in april wish you a happy birthday once again and the rest of you you're going to carry on this honeymoon phase into your may where you have your birthday so enjoy every bit of it sending you so much love and light bye bye my dear gemini is welcome to your april 2024 love predictions ha ah, so what do we have here for you you get this lover card you know lovers in tarot is also um, is is a gemini card it is representative of the gemini's um the gemini zodiac sign all right and here you get it from an oracle deck which says the lover the number 23 or the number 5 could be significant also the number 11 or the number 2 all right what does this say with love all things are possible for love replaces your confusing doubts <laughs> uh and weathering fears with faith in yourself and others and i should have one my glasses all right and what do you get here you get you may not always understand why certain things happen however there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life through turmoil a blessing will soon be revealed all right so first of all let's start with the singles all you singles out there there's a very strong possibility that you will meet someone uh maybe at a place of work for most for a lot of you it's going to be someone at a place of work in the sense that either they are you know working with you at the same place or you meet them while you're commuting to work or you meet them you know they are a client or depends for each of you is going to be different but for a lot of you it's going to be work related all right for a few of you this could also be when you are you know going out and having fun some light hearted energy and that's when you meet this person this person could be a fire sign which is aries um leo sagittarius does not have to be or they could have earth placements as well all right i feel this person is going to be around your age all right um and this is very happy easy energy between the two of you all right and there is going to be a lot of light hearted fun a lot of flirting uh and it's brilliant energy now you are going to take it slow it's going to be something and you should in fact this is um especially this is someone new and we are in retrograde season we are also in eclipse season so if this is someone new uh as i said that this is going to be someone you're going to see since it's a singles reading that i'm talking about first take it slow don't rush into anything because um uh, during this particular phase of retrogrades and uh, eclipses whatever happens they may, it may not be long so don't invest too much in it take it slow and if it lasts even after this month and a half then you know that you can go all in or you can decide whatever you want to do but right now just enjoy this energy it's beautiful light hearted fun uh, you know flirting i get very young energy with this very beautiful uh, energy here now this is for those of you who are single all right for those of you wherein there is a past person coming back you may be single but there is a past person coming back or you may be in committed relationships or you whatever whichever way you are in but there is a past person there's a likelihood of them coming back all right 
uh, because this is retrograde season so it shouldn't come as a surprise all those relationships it doesn't necessarily have to be love though this is the love readings and intended for the same but it could also be a friend any relationship wherein you've had a spat and you have not been able to get it out of your system so basically there's been no closure retrogrades bring that theme back all right so with this lilac card here and the divine feminine <clears throat> and with these two cards here what i get very strongly here is that this person coming from uh, your past is possibly someone you are you know is your first love and who's been in a, a very important part of your life obviously first love always uh, creates a different sort of flutter uh, so this person's coming back now when things have ended between the two of you maybe it wasn't very uh, amicable or uh, you know there was possibly hurt on both sides and you may have had a sort of blame game kind of thing and it was a, an, uh, a relationship that you were both invested in so when you parted ways there was a lot of love but with when there's a lot of love and you part ways and especially if it doesn't happen happily i mean you're not amicable about it and you've just gone there will be uh, you know on one side you don't stop loving another uh, one another but there could be bitterness there could be a little bit of anger and it could also trigger you on things that you need to look into all right and with this divine feminine right in the center of your reading with the number 11 on it what i get very strongly is for a lot of you this could be a higher order soulmate all right and or even a twin flame a divine counterpart so despite the fact that for some of you it could have been many years since you've separated uh, and though this person uh, may have been your first love and it's been such a long time you still can't get them out of your system maybe you've moved on maybe you've, um, with someone else at this particular time but you are not able to you know get closure on that relationship you still wonder about that relationship and you need to heal this may, or maybe you have healed it all right if you find that you're still in this energy is still wondering about what happened and why it happened or you're not able to forgive you need to heal yourself more which means this person has triggered you and most likely the triggers happen in in these uh, counterpart connections and high order soulmate connection the trigger usually happens around self worth self esteem uh all right so if that is the case and you're resonating with it you need to do a lot of healing all right guys uh what when this person comes back if the healing has not been done you can trigger one another once again and you know the cycle just continues uh now when this person comes back obviously if you already moved on in your life you don't have to leave everything and go back to this person uh, even if they've done the work and you've done the work and you understand that uh the choice is entirely with you it's in your hands but you can at least have an amicable closure so that thereafter you can move on with your life without any one you know someone not eating on your energy on a regular basis so this is something uh, which may come up all right for those of you who are in uh, marriages and partnership it's already all right before we move into that and when this person comes this person's actually done the work and you can see them that they have done the work and they're coming clean right now you're being told that whatever has happened has happened they've done their work and if you are actually interested but if you keep doubting whether this is just a facade or whether they're just showing this side and then as soon as you get into the relationship they'll show um, you know things will go um Uh, back to what it was you're being told to first of all take it slow keep your boundaries in place and no one's forcing you to do anything uh, against your will but don't carry the baggage of your past when this person comes if you don't want the relationship you can have closure and walk away but if you want it don't carry the baggage into this whatever has happened in the past you've separated you've healed and now if you're being drawn to one another again and you feel that uh the person's done the work and you have also done your healing then let the doubt go away just see how it goes keep those boundaries in place but don't build walls around you especially if you are interested all right and be kind to the person one way or the other whether you want them or not 
be kind to them and then let them go but do not allow your doubt your uh, if you have so many misgivings about this it's either because you haven't healed all right because if you feel they're okay and you still doubt them then it's possible that you haven't healed your triggers and they're still triggering you which means you need to work on yourself all right take it slow keep your boundaries in place and don't carry your baggage into this situation again for those of you who are already in partnerships this is a very abundant time you're going to enjoy a very light hearted fun with your partner your spouse depending on how you uh, resonate your relationship for a lot of you you'll take it to the next level there's going to be a very happy energy equal give and take in your connection is going to be very abundant as well and whatever you decide to do it's going to be a lot of success as well this success doesn't necessarily have to just be in the, about this connection it could also be for you uh, gemini's who are coming here if you've been working on your coin um you know or you've been working in any area of your life you are going to be, you know and success looks different for different people it doesn't always have to be about money or about a relationship you can generally be in a very happy place and you might just feel that you've got it all you feel and that's a wonderful feeling that's all you need all right so you're in this wonderful energy with this divine feminine maybe you have just healed your divine feminine and so that is a beautiful thing and it doesn't matter how you res uh, you know identify gender wise we all have a divine masculine and divine uh, feminine in us which needs to be in balance and more often than not we usually have a distorted feminine uh, you know because and or even a distorted masculine because we tend to operate from our masculine side and re keep our feminine side you know we as weak but you are healing that so that is beautiful energy you're going to be very attractive at this time and you're going to attract a lot of success in all areas of your life because you've done the work and if you feel it's not coming then it means that you need to heal some more all right so that's all i have for you i hope uh, this reading got you some clarity and be prepared for some light hearted fun a bit of healing as well a lot of success it's a wonderful month for you so that's all i have for you sending you so much love and light bye bye My dear cancerians welcome to your april 2024 love predictions so what does this month have for you with this card here we get close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful you can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in all right now first of all if you haven't listened to the intro introduction the very fact that i'm fumbling so much right from the beginning of the reading for all the signs thus far tells you that mercury is in retrograde and it is since the 22nd of february it's been in retrograde we also have had a penumbral lunar eclipse on the 25th of march and we're going to have a solar eclipse on the 7th or 8th of april all right energies are difficult but uh, when we accept them you know we are able to go with the flow and then we can tide past these difficult energies and live our best life yet all right so you being told right in the beginning to t that no matter what the circumstances outside are you have complete control over your happiness and if you decide to be joyful no matter what life throws at you no one can take that away from you all right now coming uh, if you're wondering this doesn't sound like a love reading when we're getting there we're getting there <clears throat> my dear cancerians you get the two sevens now you may be seeing a lot of sevens uh, you know seven sevens or seven seven sevens a lot um, which means that then it's all the more reason for you to pay attention here seven is a spiritual number seven is also the number of chariot which is cancerian energy because uh, the seventh month is july <clears throat> so the two cards that are here are the 7 of swords and the 7 of pentacles all right and i this card talks to me about this card is actually the card of deception but here it talks to me about you deceiving yourself more than anything all right you telling yourself that you're not uh, not good enough 
and it's possible that you've been working either on a connection or you've been working on your coin but you've been working on it you've been pouring your love and energy you've been pouring your dedication your hard work into this and you're not seeing results why aren't you seeing results because it is not the right time all right we may think that we've been putting in so much of effort and others are putting much less effort but they are seeing the fruits of the labor but we are not first of all stop comparing secondly each person's journey is their own all right and what you want to get is going to be something so beautiful but it will come to you only when you stop self sabotaging you when you're around people it's possible that you wear a mask you don't show them what you're feeling on the inside all right and this is something that you need to get rid of this with maya right beneath this which tells me all about allow past mistakes to help you see through all illusions so you can understand and act upon what you know is real and what is false you've got sufficient you could sufficient experience is what i wanted to say i was just trying to see actually i, I don't have my glasses nearby and i find it difficult to read a uh, smaller print so you've got enough experience in life and more importantly you're a cancerian you have something which uh no one has as much and that is intuition you are naturally intuitive i mean everyone has intuition but some of us in this world you know we use logic and we forget about our intuition and when we even start um we have to actually build on that ability to listen to our intuition but for you it's natural it is your natural basic instinct all right so for a person who is intuitive why do you need to worry about who is going to you know pull a um, number on you you can see through the illusion but don't create illusions for yourself and sell yourself short or you know push away opportunities because you feel you're not good enough you are self sabotaging just because something is taking time does not mean that it's not meant for you so you know you may be the kind of people who put an effort into something put in so much into something and just when you're on that threshold of about to recede you might be telling yourself i don't think i'm getting it so i'll show that i'm not interested in it and you say i actually don't care if it doesn't come my way because i'm not very interested in it. So when something is actually about to come to you you walk away from it. Do not self sabotage your wonderful opportunities. You are you deserve to be joyful no matter what life throws at you because whatever difficult circumstances are given to you the universe gives you only as much as you can handle. And it is only during difficult times that you can build character. All right? So when these things happen just take it in your stride i know it's easier said than done but tell me one person who hasn't had this share of obstacles they help you grow all right just look at this you've got the garden card here with the number 15 and the number 6 um could be relevant you are going to be abundant in every area of your life provided you stop self sabotaging all right it is all in your hands look at that you have the garden card here and you get prosperity and compassion prosperity de depends more on wanting what you have than in having what you want oh wow this is beautiful very powerful all right if you can be happy with what you have you know there is nothing more fulfilling in the world Uh, than that which means if you show gratitude for what you have you just get more and more and you are in this energy of prosperity and compassion and abundance so you need to actually stop self sabotaging and you need to trust more now in case you're wondering what happened to the love reading it's coming it's coming uh, i had to i think even for gemini's i had to start with you know a brief introduction before going into the love reading and with you definitely so with that seven of wands it has to be addressed now coming to the love uh, portion of your reading uh for those of you who are single have an opportunity to meet somebody you may meet this person when you're outdoors when you're on a holiday 
maybe you or if you go for a walk to to the gardens the park nearby or something you might meet this person maybe you see them routinely maybe you know you go for a jog and this person also goes for a jog or something like that or for some of you this could be someone you meet at work all right and if this person is someone you haven't sp- i mean you've spoken you know as an acquaintance maybe but if you are interested in this person and you feel this person is also interested in you don't push them away with the seven of swords here don't feel that you know you're just making this up and they're not interested in you just try and get to know them better trust your instincts yes just look at that i tr- uh, i accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly yes you're a cancerian yes it is true for everybody but you you should know that right and this is it so when you feel that this person you know your first instinct tells you this person may also be interested in you which is why you were drawn to them don't sabotage it all right get to know them better no one's asked you to run away with them and get married to them immediately no get to know them better in fact in fact for all you singles out there if you get into a relationship don't hurry into it right now because this is retrograde season eclipse season let a month a month and a half pass if you're still solid if you're still interested if you're still into each other then take it forward all right but you need to get to know each other better as you reveal your innermost uh, selves to each other your bond deepens and for that you need to be able to trust the other person and for that you need to come out of this energy of showing you know a mask let your vulnerable side be seen it is okay all right i know you find it extremely difficult much more than the other zodiac signs but you also have the strongest intuition trust trust yourself all right now if this is for your singles for um, those of you were in retrograde season the someone from the car past who's coming back you know i feel for a lot of you you're going to get closure with this card here which says personal issue reaches resolution full moon in cancer for a lot of you you are going to get closure in this relationship and this could be uh, actually it may begin in april and you might uh, finally get closure in the month of may for for a few of you wherein you are actually going to reconnect and uh, give it a second chance again it is going to play out i mean it might start now and you start getting to know each other maybe you have heart to heart conversations speak and you've done your healing provided you and that person has done their healing then maybe you don't trigger each other so much and you reach a personal resolution but from the looks of it what i can see is that a lot of you are going to aim for closure but the best part is that you're going to be parting ways amicably and as friends so if in the past things were not okay uh now it's going to be diff, uh you know you you part ways happily as friends so that's okay for those of you who are already in committed relationships if there is something that you have planned um or even if you have planned to take the relationship to the next level i don't see it happening in the month of april all right i i just feel that you need to work some more and take things slowly and you know um plan things a little more it's not the right time yet so i feel uh, in this month of april my dear cancerians even if you come across new love or if there's someone returning or if you're already in a relationship with somebody you need to just spend some time you know uh, doing things together getting to know each other better uh discussing what your aim is in life and what the other person wants and even if you're in a marriage for a long time you know there's a tendency that in married couples you're so used to uh taking care of things uh, basic requirements of the house and the plumbing and the everything uh in your home and your children if you have them and your parents maybe and everybody and your social life you actually stop spending time with one another so during this month of april 2024 you're being asked to actually sit and have that conversation do things together and just go slow in this month of april all right and for those of you who are actually meeting somebody trust them again 
let your authentic self be seen do not block chances of true love just by not being your authentic self or distrusting the other person trust your intuition it will never lead you astray all right and for some of you as i said you might get closure on a certain situation but a very few of you you might actually take it uh, forward all right so that is all i have for you my dear cancerians you deserve love and you deserve deserve a lot of joy so give that to yourself all right everything else will fall into place sending you so much love and light bye my dear leos welcome to your april 2024 love predictions what do we have here first of all abundance lot of abundance coming your way all right either in the area of love or even generally there's a lot of abundance coming your way now for those of you who uh, are single maybe some of you are nursing a heartbreak maybe some of you have come out from a relationship which was uh, you know which really broke your heart and it's kept you stuck first of all sending you so much love it would have been a tough cycle the ten of swords though the swords are not real it's all about thoughts but you have been betrayed you felt let down and this is a very difficult energy to come out from all right but you i believe if you've done your work and you're coming into the month of april uh you know this is going to uh if you've done your work there's a, a potential for you to actually come across a uh, new love in the form of king of cups which is um cancer scorpio pisces energy all right and this person may pique your interest the beautiful part about this whole um spread is that you get the two uh very powerful cards the shaman and the sacred woman which actually gives me hierophant and high priestess vibes all right you are extremely intuitive at this time very intuitive and very powerful all right now uh before we dive in let me uh, tell you that if you missed the introduction that we are actually in eclipse season we finished a penumbral lunar eclipse it has just happened on the 25th of march we are having a solar eclipse on the 8th of april and mercury has been in retrograde so a lot of past themes will come back up so sometimes i mean if this heartbreak has been something that has happened a long time back uh, or a reasonably long time back and you have been healing uh, you know uh, whatever this trigger has been and you've been healing from this relationship and with this card here which says i realize i'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love you've actually uh, picked up the pieces you've been working on yourself you've been working on uh you know whatever the trigger was with these cards here which are very um spiritual cards i feel this trigger could have been as far as your self worth or self esteem was concerned it could have been something else you've been working for it and because you've been working on it because you've been working through your fears working on all those triggers this person may be coming back the person who broke your heart may be coming back to you all right and when this person comes back first with this card trust here the situation is calling you to have faith first of all let's make this very clear that you have the complete uh, authority over your life you are so powerful that you can intend and create whatever it is that you want so there is no uh, forcing you to go back to that person there's no forcing you to uh, live a life that others are telling you to or if the world around you saying don't go back to that person but if you feel they've done the work and they are coming back from an authentic place and you've done the work and you're ready that is also up to you so everything is in your hands so you're not forced to do anything you can take your time and as it is you don't make major life decisions as far as your love relationship or anything permanent is concerned during this retrograde season so just take it whoever is whether it is a new, a new love or whether it's someone coming from your past take your own sweet time in this one one and a half months to just you know maintain boundaries say what's important to you find out what's important to them have that heart to heart conversation see you know discuss what your uh, ambitions are and how you see yourself you know what is it that you expect from life see what they have to say and then you know then move forward 
with this card here which says sexual union it says honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul for there you will find bliss so for a lot of you uh, you may have a passionate encounter with this person uh, for singles this could be this king of cups for those of you who are in uh, relationships or in uh, marriages if you've been going through a rough patch you're going to tie past this there's going to be fresh energy into your life there's going to be fresh understanding it's going to be you know emotional fulfillment in your connection and there's going to be a lot of um, you know uh, if you've been feeling that you've not been um, physical with one another because you've been so incompatible and you've been going through a rough patch this is going to ch be uh, changing all right so there's going to be a lot of chemistry between uh, you and your partner or your spouse however you, um, you whatever your relationship is and there's going to be a lot of uh, love and understanding and compassion as well so this is beautiful energy for you all right with the sacred woman here this is like the high priestess all right you are extremely intuitive now this person um, in your life could be born in the year of the ox as well all right it doesn't have to be but if there's any fear holding you back or if you have a tendency to doubt you're being told to let it go and trust your intuition you will know if something is off if this is not okay you will know and you can all very kindly and very firmly not decide to move forward you can have your closure and uh, you know go your own way do not block things before you hear them so give everyone a chance to say the thing for a lot of you you're anticipating this to happen with this enemy card here it says i felt like an arrow pulled back and ready uh, to be launched into something big so for a lot of you you feel that something is coming and the answers you need are coming so whether this person from your past is coming back to give you answers and then there's a closure that's fine or if you want to take it to the next level that's also fine you hold the power so this is very beautiful energy uh, it's going to be an abundant month so you have finally uh, you know worked on this for some of you you've worked on this energy for some of you there is still healing to be done for each of you the journey is different and you will know where you stand all right so take it how it resonates trust your intuition and don't block opportunities and don't be stuck you know there is a tendency for us when we go through a bad patch for us to keep thinking about it or keep bringing it there if you're too focused on it despite the healing first of all the full healing won't happen secondly you'll create energetic blocks which happen in all areas of your life but just looking at the abundance card here i feel you have done the work so this is very good keep up the good work and allow abundance and happiness and love to come into your life all right that's all i have for you have a wonderful april 2024 since it's airy season which is fire sign this is going to be a great month for you as well enjoy it all uh sending you so much love and light bye bye my dear virgos welcome to your april 2024 love predictions ha so what does your love life look like in april 2024 well for one um before we get into it let me let you know if you've missed the introduction that we are in eclipse season we finished a penumbral lunar eclipse on the um 25th of march and there's going to be a solar eclipse on the 8th of april also uh, the mercury has been in retrograde since 22nd of march and will um, be there throughout april so what does that tell you that tells you not to rush into anything for especially for those who are single uh, you know if you meet someone new take it slow get to know them let this whole month month and a half pass and then you decide what you want to do next before you take it to the next level all right that way you know that um, this thing is going to stay and it's not going to just you know uh, leave you wondering why you went for it all right now for those of you who are single there is a beautiful new offer coming in love from a from an air sign most probably or someone who's got very strong air placements which is uh gemini libra aquarius with this king of swords here all right so this person may uh come uh, look as though this person is aloof or they may be very friendly but you might feel that they still keep a distance uh but with you being ruled by mercury and uh, you being uh, 
very good at communication unfortunately mercury is uh, retrograde during this time so you really need to think twice before you speak and you've got to uh, keep that you know your channels of communication is really really clear because chances are that you can have a misunderstanding now this person is the king of swords so this person is someone who's very logical someone who uh, thinks with their head and someone who will also be a very good uh, communicator all right especially if they're a gemini then they're ruled uh, by mercury themselves all right so but when you meet this person and though you get along very well and maybe you know because uh, there's a communication is a very strong point you may be drawn to one another but you're being told to practice patience as i was just saying this is retrograde season but why am i also saying that is because this card a uh, beautiful card here which you thought would tell you so many things but just told you to wait and it says don't rush into it allow nature to take its course all right so uh, whatever it is just get to know each other better and let things uh, take a natural course and so this doesn't say that it's not going to work out nice because obviously you've got the ace of uh, cups here so this is a divine sent opportunity all right but take it slow don't rush into anything with the uh, asters card here elegance and patience nature does not hurry yet everything is accomplished so this is a second thing so if th this is meant for just because we are saying wait take it slow doesn't mean that uh, this is going to fall flat no it isn't but you need to you know there are some things which you need time to nurture you know if you just want you get a plant and you feel that you put extra water it'll grow faster you just might kill the plant all right so just take it slow that's what it means with the spiritual maturity card here and the number 34 here which adds to a seven which is a very spiritual number this gives me very hierophant vibes just by that eye out there all right you are seeing things from a higher perspective which is beautiful and uh, maybe you are attracting spiritual love maybe this is spiritual love and you'll find that out later if you take things slow all right for those of you single and you meet this person you might meet this person at night you might meet this person outdoors um you might meet this person when you're out on a holiday maybe uh, if you're trekking maybe if you're you know going to visit some place maybe a mountain maybe you're in the mountain somewhere and you meet this person and you're going to be in a very happy place in april all right with this retreat it's time to disconnect from the world i feel that you are possibly going to go on a vacation just away from everything go uh, you know on your own and spend some time maybe in nature maybe on a trek or something like that and that's when you come across this person all right and you are going to feel extremely happy you have this connect because you're able to communicate freely with one another all right and so you're going to just and you'll be told to not think about your future as soon as you meet this person just let it happen organically with this poet card here the number 27 and the number 9 will be significant along with the number 7 all right and what does this say make your life a work of art and your art a work of life see the poetry in the mundane and you will be rewarded beyond measure and i feel that you know this connection can actually have the potential to possibly be a happily ever after or let's not label it it could be anything all right but you need to enjoy the journey with this person and not just think about what next and what next and what next so stop planning with this person when you meet this person all right now for those of you who are already in partnerships including marriages there's going to be fresh energy in your life a lot of love there's going to be clear communication between the two or it's better that you aim for clear communication because of the retrograde season but the king of swords sees all sides of a problem and i feel that uh, even if something comes up you and your partner and you and your spouse however you identify your relationship you are going to be able to actually sit and talk it out and see all sides of a situation before you move forward and this is going to be a very happy time in your uh, life you know with your partner this is beautiful and 
because uh, Virgos, even in a love reading, would like to know what's happening as far as their work is concerned. You're being told your hard work will pay off. So whether you've been putting, really, uh, you know, work into the relationship or you're putting in work, otherwise you are going, your hard work is paying off. The universe is seeing all that you have done. And uh, for you, if you've been doubting something and you've been wondering, you know, is this actually going to happen? The answer is yes. Whatever you really, really wondering about or doubting about and you've been hoping that it's a yes, the answers the angels are saying is a yes. All right. So just be patient. Let things play out for you. Wonderful things are waiting to happen. Sending you so much love and light. Have a wonderful April 24th.